No sooner had the US and five other countries urged North Korea to cease missile tests than the North conducted its second one in the space of six days. News of this latest test came to us here in the South at around 7.30 this morning. The Joint Chiefs of Staff said it had detected the launch from an inland area, presuming it to have involved a ballistic missile, technology the North's barred from developing under multiple UN Security Council resolutions. We later learned the missile had been fired from the same area near China from where North Korea said it launched a hypersonic missile last week. And still responding to that previous test, U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Linda Thomas-Greenfield earlier delivered a joint statement condemning last week's launch by the North and calling on Pyongyang to choose dialogue and peace over its unlawful and threatening weapons program. It would seem today's missile activity confirms North Korea's more interested in the latter for now. And South Korea's presidential National Security Council has expressed strong regret after holding an emergency meeting. With less than two months left until the presidential election here, time is just about up for the current Moon Jae-in administration's hopes of paving the way for peace through dialogue. Instead, North Korea has begun 2022 by demonstrating its commitment to leader Kim Jong-un's vow to boost his country's weapon capabilities. And so, just how threatening was this latest test? There's bound to be some debate about that based on the fallout from last week's launch, which the North claimed was its second successful test of a hypersonic missile. Reports suggest the latest test achieved a speed of close to Mach 10, even faster than the hypersonic Mach 6 reached previously. But speed isn't everything. When mastered, hypersonic missiles are difficult to intercept because of their maneuverability. Having studied last week's test, including the missile's operational range and lateral movement, South Korea's defense ministry assessed that the North has yet to reach the technologies for a hypersonic flight vehicle. The US is also saying the North tested a ballistic rather than hypersonic missile. While we await further study of this second launch of the year, It will remain a concern to Seoul, Washington and many others that each North Korean missile test takes it closer to weapon tech breakthroughs and further from peaceful cooperation.